let's look at some of the best practices for using Twitter in order to promote your blog content. So very first thing, you want to make sure you're sending your tweets at the best times. So here is the study done by Quick Sprout. And according to this, if you are in B2B market, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday will be the best days to tweet. And if you are in B2C market, Wednesdays and then the weekends are the best days to send out your tweets. And also 12 p.m., 5 p.m., and then 6 p.m., will give you the highest engagement. Here are some examples of how you can use the same blog post and create multiple tweets. So this is an example of a blog post that I created a few weeks ago. The title was Six Ways to Skyrocket Facebook Engagement with Examples. My first tweet was just the title with the link. So six ways to skyrocket Facebook engagement and that link. And then my second tweet was actually a question. Are you getting good engagement from your Facebook post? And then the link. And then I used some text from that blog and then made that as a tweet. Post about trending topics for more engagement on Facebook and then the link to the same blog content. On Twitter, you also want to make sure you use relevant hashtags in your tweets. And there is a very cool tool that I love, Hashtagify, that can help you find some relevant hashtags. And let me actually show you how to use this tool. So it's hashtagify.me and this is what the tool looks like. So let's say if you are a food blogger and you put the word food and hit search. This tool is going to show you several other hashtags that are relevant to your main hashtag. So for example, if you are a food blogger or in the food industry, Foodie, delicious, cook, health, cooking, yummy are other relevant hashtags that you can use in your tweets. Also, if you have quoted or talked about any industry influence or industry authority figures in your blog content, you should tag them in your tweets. So look at this example. This is one of my clients and we wrote a blog post about innovation and we talked about companies like Waze, ParkMe and BillGuard and we tagged them in the tweets that we sent out. And do you guys want to know what happened next? Check this out. When we sent out that tweet, one of these guys, Park Me, actually retweeted us. This can actually create a lot of engagement and traffic back to your Twitter account and also to the blog link that you tweeted. And then make sure you're using images in your tweets wherever possible. And just like these examples, Mashup Tweet and GeekTime.com, they use very eye-catching images with their tweets. And this is why, according to a study from Adweek, users engaged at a rate five times higher when an image was included in the tweet. So you absolutely want to make sure you're using images in your tweets wherever possible. And lastly, you can use several tools to schedule your tweets on your Twitter account. Hootsuite is my favorite tool that I use to manage my social media and also for all the clients that I work with. But there are several other options. There are tools like Buffer and Sprout Social that you can look into. 
And let me do a quick demo of how you can use Hootsuite to schedule your tweets at multiple times and days. So if you're using Hootsuite, this is what the Hootsuite layout looks like. This is the dashboard and this is where you compose your message and select your social media profiles. So let's say I wanted to send a tweet about my blog post on Facebook engagement. I'll select my Twitter and then create the copy or the tweet in this box. And then this is where I can send or pick a schedule date. So let's say if I want to schedule it tomorrow, I can pick that. This is where it's picking the date. date. So I can pick tomorrow and then pick a time. Remember 12 p.m.? So I'm going to schedule that for that time and hit schedule and it's already scheduled and then you can create another tweet with a different text and schedule it for another day And make sure you select the social media channel. There you go. That's it. If you're using Hootsuite, it's very simple to schedule your tweets. But I believe if the other tools like Buffer, Sprout Social are also fairly similar and simple to use.